And in this world, one of the best feelings in the entire world is a sense of freedom and a sense of being free enough to speak your truth. And for many of us, as you guys look at the pre-med process, you're taught to be self subservient and to give yourself for others. And we, in that, we lose our own identity sometimes. And we lose the fact that it is our life and we get to choose how we live it. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. We're talking about Cat Williams on Shannon Sharp's show, Club Shay Shay. The show itself in general is always was pretty good. I, I listen to Shannon Sharp regularly, but it was particularly good with Cat Williams because he was someone who was speaking truth and he was speaking from a place of deep consciousness. And I guess that's the next place we can go for is that <laughs> he spoke a lot of things that were very taboo during the interview. And he said a lot of things that people might say are harsh about other people. But one of the things that I really, really enjoyed about the interview was that he could speak his truth. And what I would encourage you guys to do, we hear a lot of people out here say, hey, fake it till you make it, be a po like, just pretend to do these things and don't ever do that, guys. Don't be a fraud, right? We've got enough frauds out in this world in the social media planet, right? And I did a video uh, about a month ago, maybe two months ago, where I talked about fake it till you make it is dead. But this video kind of brought that back to life is that it's the opposite of that, so, right? Fake it till you make it sucks. But living a life of truth and honesty and integrity, there's no better feeling in the world. And Cat Williams talked about how he'd go on there and speak his truth because he's just speaking true. He's just living his life, trying to be his best self every single day. And I respect that about him, whether it's true or not, I respect the sentiment of it. And I saw in that moment myself and that people can say whatever they want to say about me, right? You guys know on the internet, they bash me left and right, but I can always stand my ground and stand confident recognizing I'm speaking the truth. I'm coming from a place of a good hearted, kind nature. I actually care about my students. I actually want to see my students succeed. And like I said, I had my student yesterday come Isaiah, who just got into his, uh, one of the top medical schools in the country. And he's very excited, he's been with me for four years. And he talked about how he hated me at first. And what was amazing was I was like, man, that's exactly the reaction I want. When I say something, I want to poke at you. I want you to feel something. I want you to feel the need to change, to be different, to be more, because we all have such great potential potential that we're not fulfilling. And so I want to see every student fill that potential. And so he said, I fired him up and then he went through five of my courses and got educated on everything and then got a 3.91 GPA the rest of his career. And now he's in the medical school. And so we were sitting there talking yesterday and we were talking about the fact that, man, hearing that truth was hard, but it was a truth I needed to hear because I recognized that I was going through undergrad. I had spent my entire undergrad. At that time, I was a senior when I came to that presentation. So he spent the last four years working after undergrad to get into medical school. He's like, I recognized that I was partying, that I was posing and hanging out, doing all these things that didn't really mean anything to nothing. And what you told me that day was, listen, if you wanna make an impact, you wanna be something, man, this life is so rewarding if you can be your best. And so when you called me out, I realized I was hurt because you were telling me the hard truth that I wasn't living my truth, that I wasn't making my priority, becoming a doctor, the real priority, and I was living based off superficial, short-lived, other people's priorities. And as a result, I had to realign myself and get back focused, and once I did that, then it made it easy to make the difficult decisions, to focus on my career, to put the extra time in, to show up to class, to do something you do to be successful and then bam you're in the medical school and so what i would encourage all of you guys to do right and one of the things he did as an initiative was that he started a mentorship program homies inc and he gave me his card right and he gave me his card homies inc and i was like this is so awesome that he's put this together because he recognized that i made an impact in his life and made a difference for him and he wanted to be that voice of truth for other people and so what i encourage all of you guys to do is one live your truth live your life recognize what matters to you and make that the top value not what other people say is important the second thing is is live a life of integrity and kindness right and warm-heartedness give of yourself to others genuinely not for the reward not for the accolades not to have people shout from the rooftops right like i had him shadow yesterday you don't see any pictures right it's not about that for me for me it's about having students succeed and that's what you guys should be doing is doing things out of the genuine nature of your heart to help people to give people and if you can do that medical schools will see that they'll see your true heart and how it really means something to you to volunteer or it means something to you to serve a certain community and then it won't be a question of is this person a box checker or not they'll see your soul your heart and your true nature in that moment so live your truth guys be a person of significance and impact and positivity uplift others we have too much negativity out here in the world that's it for another episode of the pre-med Pro Productivity Podcast. Show your love by smashing the like button and commenting in the box below. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses. No more complaining. You're going to take your future into your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better? Get to my website, premedproductivity.com.
grab a free ebook, sign up for every webinar. And if you're really ready to transform, enroll in one of my life changing courses or coaching programs. You have greatness inside you. Let me show you how to unlock it so you can dominate and make your dreams a reality. No excuses, just dominate.